Ohio State University, where I majored in biology. I then moved to Iowa City, opposite territories there, but I worked in a molecular genetics lab at the University of Iowa called Public excuse me, Health before going to law school. I originally thought maybe I would do something with health policy. I really didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with law. And someone said, you have a science background, so you should take patent law, see if you like it. And I did, and absolutely loved it. So I know kind of what some of you are thinking. An attorney doesn't sound much like a STEM career, but it is. I have to be registered to practice before the United States Patent and Trademark Office. And in order to do that, I have to prove to them that I have a science background. So I have to prove to them that I have my biology background. Um, a number of science and engineering degrees will suffice. Other requirements, I took to pass the Iowa State Bar exam, which I need to be an attorney. And then I also had to pass the patent bar exam that's given by the patent office. So what is a patent? A patent is something that you get from the federal government that allows you to prevent other people from using an invention that you've come up with. It could be a new drug, it could be a new type of machine, agriculture equipment, and process for making ethanol. Any type of new, novel, non-obvious machine, process, article of manufacture, composition of matter. So the process to obtain a patent, you first will have a patent application, and then you'll have a lot of correspondence with the patent office to try to determine what it is in that invention that's patentable and what's not. So then you'll, in the end, you'll end up with something that's enforceable by the courts down the road. So the first step for me, kind of what my day-to-day -day is like, is I'll first meet with a client to learn about their invention. And they can have any type of science background, non-science background, whatever the case might be. We'll meet and they'll tell me all about their invention, which will enable me to draft a patent application. A patent application generally is probably about a 25 to 30 page document that's going to give some background on the invention. It's going to uh, describe the invention in quite a bit of detail. Um, there'll be some claims and then some figures that I'll describe in the application. After that, it's examined by the patent office and they'll get back to me and tell me, here's all the reasons we either think it's patentable or we don't think it's patentable. And then I'll have to work with them and kind of negotiate what the actual patentable scope of the invention might be. Some reasons why my science background is important. First and foremost, the science background gives you an amazing ability to solve problems. So whether I'm working with a patent client or a different type of client, my job is to solve their problems. And the science background in education gives you a really amazing background in doing that. I also need to understand my client's inventions and be able to compare and distinguish their inventions over other things that already exist in the prior art or might come up near new in the future. Um, one advantage I like about my biology background is I took classes in physics and chemistry, biology, lots of different types of science, which I think has enabled me to work with a lot of different types of clients. Other things that I do that are related to the patents, um, a lot of patent infringement. Um, I do patentability searches, which means I look at things that already exist and tell clients whether their invention might be patentable. I do license agreements, which allows our clients to give other people permission to use their patents. And I also give trade secret advice. In my profession, there's also a lot of roles for people who have a software Again, license agreements, we do a lot of terms and conditions for software, copyright applications. A typical day for me, I do a lot of reading and writing. I do a lot of drafting patent applications, drafting communication to other parties and to the patent office. I also do a lot of meeting with clients. If you are a patent attorney, um, some, you might be able to, some places that you can live usually are bigger cities. Uh, Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, Baker, you're not going to find a lot of patent attorneys in real small towns, but you can be in a big firm, a small firm, a lot of big companies will have patent attorneys in-house, so that's somewhere that you can work. I love that I get to work with a lot of different uh, industries. I work with chemical engineering, biology, ethanol, construction engineering, 
mechanical engineering, software, alternative energy, and others. Similar careers to mine, you can be a patent examiner at the patent office. So the things that I grabbed, you can examine for patentability, tell people whether their inventions actually are patentable. And you can also be a patent agent, which is similar to a patent attorney, only without a law degree. You still practice before the patent office, but don't necessarily give legal advice. I also have some kind of non-STEM aspects of my job. Um, as a patent attorney, I'm an intellectual property attorney in general. I do a lot of trademark law, I do a lot of copyright law, contract drafting, things like that. And my next slide will be my contact information. If you ever want to chat or have any questions, please feel free to let me know.